Hello, this is the adventures of Gino Pettis. I'm Gino, and these are my adventures. Welcome back. Good to have you. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure and subscribe, hit the like button, the notification bell, right down here, right down here, and you'll get to see many more of these. This is kind of a special video today. I, uh, I have a friend named Felix, and he has a, uh, he has a vlog. Um, and a channel here on YouTube, uh, The Greatest Lifestyle. And he came up with a video yesterday that was just quite impressive. And he was talking about, he didn't, I don't think he knew it, but he was talking about gratitude. And he was talking to his fellow entrepreneurs about what happens when you start becoming wealthy and then you get lazy and you, you become uninspired and you just don't have any fire left in you. And <clears throat> what he said was pretty much grab an airplane, go to a foreign country, and check it out. And you will come to love and have a lot of gratitude for the United States of America. I lived in the United States often on my entire life. I'm an American, I'm a patriot. And he is exactly right. And so when you speak to an expat, for the, most, for the most part, expats aren't doing it for the for political reasons that I've met. They're, most of them are just doing it for economical reasons. They're moving to another country because our United States dollar goes a lot further than their peso or their ruble or their whatever. So I'd just like to, this is just a special shout out to Felix to tell him thank you, because um, you put some more fire in my belly. I'm an old guy, and it's hard to keep us keep us jazzed up, and, and we, need, we need somebody to remind us of things that we might have forgotten. Well, number one, that our country is a great country. I live in Colombia now, and the reason I live in Colombia is, is twofold. My wife is from Colombia, and number two, my Social Security check goes a long ways here. As a matter of fact, I live quite a beautiful life on about half of it, on about $500 a month. <clears throat> and all that being said, uh, it's a wonderful country, but it's a poor country too. And there are a lot of people that don't make, it's, it, it's difficult to, to make money here. If you tried to come here and support yourself with a job in Colombia, you would find yourself in a quandary right away. But if you come here and you have a online job, or you have a pension, you're gonna do well. But never forget from where you came. And our poor country right now is going through a lot of turmoil, a lot of changes, and I think a lot of the problem is, is that a lot of the people that, the generations that are at hand in the United States at the moment, don't have a lot of gratitude from where we came. We've been threatened a lot, we've struggled a lot, we've fought a lot, and we're a wonderful country still. The sad part is that people like myself that have made investment mistakes or were ill and lost a lot of money and only have their pension to live on, it's a godsend for us to have a country like Colombia that will let us in, that will give us a, a, a visa, that will give us a green card, the tip of the a cedula, which is the equivalent of a green card, and let us live live our lives here in Colombia in peace. Yes, 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 I know. There are places that are dangerous in Colombia. Everywhere is dangerous on the planet. It doesn't matter where you are. You just have to be careful. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful in the United States these days, and I don't care what city you're in. But anyway, that's a whole that's a whole another video, and I already did that. And what I want to do is I want to thank Felix for his wonderful, wonderful, wonderful YouTube of yesterday, and I will leave a link to that in in my comments below. So if you have any questions, um, this is this kind of broke into a series that I'm doing on how to get to Colombia, uh, on how to find a mate if you want one in Colombia. And how to live, 
happily ever after in Colombia. Good health care, good food. Gasoline is still $2.50 a gallon. And this is March, uh, March 20th, 2022. I believe in the United States it's right at five bucks. So I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I'd rather fill my car up here than there. So anyway, thank you, Felix. I really appreciate your video. I hope you find this one palatable. God bless. Uh, don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'm Gino with Gino Pettis Adventures. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.